What's up guys, KGC here again. We're playing No Man's Sky for the first time in several months. I just thought I'd come back to this game because, I'll tell you why, I'm getting, not nostalgic, no, it's another sense. I'm getting, um, uh, what do you call it now, where you start to look forward to something? Well, we all saw the Xbox, um, the Xbox showcase yesterday, I think it was, or the day before, about Starfield. Well, this game is as close as you get to Starfield. So, anyway, let's get to it. Oh, and my son Harrison is with us. Say hi, Harrison. Hi, Daddy Hanky. Okay. Moving on. So, anyway. Hi, Daddy Hanky Poo Poo. Uh, uh, yeah, fine. Had Daddy Hanky Poo Poo. Right. <laughs> he doesn't mean it really. He is a nice lad. Aren't you, Harrison? So, anyway. Don't do it, what we're going to do. Don't worry about Harrison. He has his moments, but he's a good boy, really. What, we, what we're going to do is we're going to blast off this planet because it's full of oceans and water and no, nothing useful. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, do a barrel roll and then we're going to make it to a station. And then when we get to the station, we're going to pick another system to go to because I should have several bases and several uh, other systems because when you visit a station or you build a base in this game what it gives you is a fast travel point you can actually travel uh, across the galaxy across the stars to the different points okay right so we should be oh can't can't be bothered to wait 22 seconds so hopefully what we'll do is we'll get to the station instantly like that okay so we are approaching the station no one's scanning us and nobody's attacking us. Now, I'm used to playing this these days on the Nintendo Switch, believe it or not. So, playing it on the Xbox One X in 4K is a pleasure. Because the uh, the graphics are so much better on this version. Okay. So, we'll land. And then... I just love these sail ships. They're so awesome. But they're not the newest ones. Because in the recent update about the Sentinels, you can get the Sentinel starships... You just do a little quest line, Ooh, do a little quest line um, where you have to meld some kind of like uh, mind device to your mind, uh, but like Mr. Spock from Star Trek, and then say you get... what's guys again. Say what's up, guys again. Yeah. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Well, what's up, guys? Kid, you see here, we're playing No Man's Sky, and I've just brought up the te teleportation terminal. You see. Now and then, I will have to say, what's up, guys, several times, because if he asks me to, I have to do it, or else he gets rather upset. Anyway, what we'll do, uh, we won't go to my um, freighter. What we'll do is we'll go, uh, shall I go to my base? Yeah, let's go to my base. I have no idea what state KG1 is in, because I haven't been to this, I haven't been on this console playing it for ages. I don't know how many months it's been. So the, anyway, this uh, hyper hyperspace sort of like effect thingy. I don't think um, I don't think No Man's Sky will do this. I think you fold space in No Man's Sky as they showed us on the showcase, and it's pretty quick. Whereas this tends to go on for a little while. It's basically just a placeholder where it's loading the new system in. Now there's 18 quintillion planets in this game. Um, it's just mind blowing. So we're just going to sit here and look at all these psychedelic colours. We're not smoking anything. No, that is real on the screen. What's some cake? Oh, okay. Thank you very much. I've just Say, been... what's guys? Are you having some cake? What's up, guys? KGC here with his son Harrison playing No Man's Sky on the Xbox One X. I'm having some cake. It's his birthday tomorrow. He's six. Mmm. Good job, Daddy. What's guys? Hanky, poo-poo, Daddy. Have a good day. Yep. Thanks a lot. Hanky, poo-poo, Daddy. Mmm. This is really nice icing. We've actually finished all the cake. Uh, we were left with the icing. <laughs> I don't know why. Wow, this star system really is far away, isn't it? Friendly. Alright, so Harrison's on his way. Uh, he's left now. So, it's just me presenting the uh, video. Oh no, he's back again. Alright, so we're on Earth 2.0. Um, so I must have... Robot! Yeah, I remember this now. Say, what guy you got a robot? Mm. There we go, so we got the main, uh, the main base building I've built, and, oh, Harrison's taking the controller off me now, he wants to go. There's the, no, uh, galactic... No! Right, okay, so I'm gonna co commentate now, and Harrison is playing the game. Okay, so we've got some lights, we Say, we've... what guy? I'll just say what I see. 
I'll keep commentating. So we've got a hole that I dug. Uh, what's Harrison going to do now? Is he going? He's got the terrain manipulator, which you can use to build a tunnel. Do you want to build a tunnel? Yeah. Right there we go. He's digging. It's a bit like Minecraft. So he's oh he's uh, he's dug so deep. Look, he's hit the water table. You need to hit X to reload, Harrison. Go for gas. Yeah, you need to hit X to reload the gun. Right, so he's underwater, underground. He's using his jetpack to try and get above ground again now. Whoop! Right, we're in a tunnel. It's really dark. Right, do you want to turn the camera around so we can see where we're going? All right, he's giving me the controller back. Right, we should. Say, uh, what's oh, the guys? We. Stuck in the tunnel. What's up, guys? KGT here again. KGC with his son Harrison. Every time I make a verbal mistake, I tend to go. I don't know why. Oh, so he wants to take the controller off me again. He's um, he's getting really excited. He's seen the robot. Now let's. If we go over to the terminal, look. What we'll do is call the robot back. There he is. Right. Cool. Do you want to go in the robot? No. But let's go in the Minotaur robot. Here we go. Now what we'll do is we will hopefully um camera there we go cool right so the temperature is 60.5 degrees minus 60 sorry current location is minus 100 by 70.88 or something i don't know anyway so we can jump look with the massive boosters that's what i love about the minotaur Okay, so what we'll do is we'll change the camera because you can see it a bit better if we do that. There we go, that's better. Awesome, right. I just love this thing. <coughs> so what cannons has he got? i completely forgotten. Oh, we've got a base down here. Have we... Do we need to destroy this? Right, let's destroy the base. There we go. I think I have destroyed this um, depot before, so it's obviously regenerated itself. Right, now we've got some, t um, some sentinels to defeat now uh I've got minotaur cannon i think i need to use the cannon to ass it that's it there we go have we got any other weapons uh no that's just a mining laser so that little repair droid there he's going to try and repair him so i need to take out the repair droid first right um it's got a little spanner above it they're not easy to hit i must admit that's a laser right, so we jump over here we're right next to the uh, droid there we go oh so he's taking a real beating now. There you go. He's dead. Right, so we'll... Um... Oh, God, there's more of them coming. <laughs> okay, so where's the little repair drone? There we go. I don't know how much ammo I've got left. Oh! Oh, no! No! I need to get back in. Stay out here. I'm dead. Right, there we go. Okay. So what do we need to do now, Harrison? Harris I can poo -poo daddy. No, we don't need to do that. No. What we need I to do? Poo -poo daddy. We're in a battle with all of these uh, drones. We need to take out all the drones, don't we? All the sentinels. Okay. Oh, you want to? Okay. Right. So you, he's multitasking now. He's got an ice cream, a vanilla flavored ice cream, and also fighting the drones. So Whoa. this should be interesting. Well, he's doing quite a good job, actually. And this is not with auto-aim, everyone. You know, this is actually my son playing. He's quite good at video games. He's only six. Start them young, as they say. <laughs> I mean, it was inevitable if his dad's a YouTuber uh, and always grown up with gaming, then he was going to be into gaming as well. But it's really nice that Harrison has started, you know, recording with me um, and playing video games as well. So we can start, you know, having the experience together. Ah! Yes, I know. It gives you lot a good laugh as well. There's some water. There's some water. Okay. Right, where's where's the um, Harrison? Where's the Minotaur? Where's the robot? Right, we've got critical suit damage. Right, I just need to... Uh, we need, Somehow, we need to get back to the Minotaur. Where's it gone? Where's the Minotaur? Oh, there it is. Right, there we go. Hang on, Me? hang on! Yes, I know you want to go. Right, there you go. He's rather impatient. But then again, all six-year-olds are. He's six tomorrow. Look. Why are you, why are you not in the um, Minotaur? Yeah, they're not going to be very happy with you. 
Oh, he's put a shield up now. I do like the effects on these shields. They're really cool. Okay, um... You may want to get back to the Minotaur or else we're going to die. Right. No, he insists on playing. That's fair enough. So he, he's not going to last much longer out here. Harrison, your organic pump's gone. You're, you're talking a lot of damage now. Are we going to get into cover? No? Okay, he's shaking his head. He obviously wants to die. He wants to be a martyr. I mean, in all fairness, we are surrounded by these drones, so we're outnumbered about 10 to 1 anyway. There we go. We died. Okay, so that doesn't happen very often. We are an impossibility in an impossible universe. I love this game. It's like Call of Duty. It's like Call of Duty and Modern Warfare. When you die, I'm going to read it in a second. It's like Call of Duty and Modern Warfare, I was just saying. What those games do is when you die, you get like a famous saying by um, like a head of state or some philosopher. And it's really, really cool. Adds a nice little touch. So they thought they'd do it in this game. Right, that's the hole you dug, Harrison. I mean, we're supposed to be doing a scientific research mission, I think, where we need to acquire 30 marrow bulbs. So you need to go into a cave. But I don't think there's any caves around here. So what Harrison can do if he wanted to, I don't think he's interested, but if he wanted to, he can feed the animals, and then you can keep them as pets, and you can actually ride them. And they can be really, really useful. Yes, you can have a horse in this game. No, it's not Red Dead, uh, la, 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 Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. Right, so Harrison is now customising the colour on the Minotaur vehicle. Okay, so he's going to... That looks pretty cool, yeah. Have the primary colour as red, yeah. then secondary is green. No, black. Do you want green or black? What do you want? Green, black... Yellow, white, what is it you want? Pink? Or is that purple? That's purple, isn't it? Yeah. You want to save changes? Okay, let's save the changes. Want to fly? Okay, save the changes then. You need to hold down the A button. That's it! Right, good boy. What is that so fly yeah. there? Oh, he's got... Yeah, he's talking about a fly. There's uh, flies all over the screen. Say, what's up, guys? What's up, guys? We're playing No Man's Sky, as you know, because we've been recording for a little while now. I can't remember how many minutes. It might be 10, 5, 12, don't know. And we're at my base on a frosty planet, like the planet Hoth in Star Wars, if you're into Star Wars. If you're not, no problem. Okay, so who's this dude? He's um, the Prospector Von Mu, I think his name is. He's a geck. So you're into this game. If you're into this game, everyone, if you're interested in No Man's Sky, this is one of the races called a geck. And they're really friendly. Okay, so anyway, he's not got anything useful to tell me, so I'll leave. He's um, he's the sort of researcher prospector who likes to be in a dark room looking at bright terminals. Right, anyway. There's no power at the station, at the, uh, the base, so I don't know why. So let's change the... Um, change the camera so do we need to charge anything up let's have a look uh, yeah we do but we can't so oops so because our storage container needs power we can't open it and that's a real shame so what we need to do is um, does anything work right so we can access the um, the trade terminal now I've got 108 million credits that's really cool 450 quicksilver which isn't too bad but not brilliant so Harrison's Harrison's gone temporarily, so we can have a um, a proper session playing this now. <laughs> oh. Right. Anyway, um, what am I going to do? Let's go in the uh, the oh, let's go in the base. Oh, he's back now. He wants to go in the swimming pool. I'm probably going to get press ganged into going in the swimming pool. It won't let me in the base for some reason. Right. Come on, in the base. Let me go in the... Oh, I really should have aligned this with the floor better, shouldn't I? So, um, no, that's the construction research unit. Okay. So there's no power at the base at all, because I think it relies on um, solar power. But 
Yeah, Same. that's that's a battery. Sky, oh, here we go. Here. What's up, guys? We're playing No Man's Sky. Me and Harrison, and I'm trying no, to find out what. Safe is here. KGC. Yes, I'm the KGC. No, that... what's guys? He can't make his mind up, can he? Right. So what we're going to do is save. Say, oh no, that's the signal booster. I thought that was the save beacon. Say, what's guys? Here? What's up, guys? KGC here with his son Harrison. We're playing No Man's Sky. We're on a frosty planet. Right. That's just saved the uh, game. Now. Because it's dark, the solar panel terminals are not working. So there's no base, there's no power at the base because the batteries. Uh, my son's trying to swap the flies now. This could get rather awkward. Harrison, Harrison, could you just refrain from doing that for a minute, mate? Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into the ship and blast off the planet through the clouds, through Saturn's rings. I do it. Yeah. We're in Can space now. Flap no, I'm not going to flap it because I'll knock the monitor off the wall. No! Hey! Oh, okay then. You fly the, uh, fly the ship. Say, what's guys? Okay. You want to fly the ship? Look. So you need to select Y for not rockets. You need lasers. Okay, so we're going back down to the planet now for some reason. Why I can't go back to the planet? Why I can't go down? I was just about to say something then. Again, if you've not seen this game before, um, this is No Man's Sky, and in space, which is pretty much limitless, if it says uh, time to travel to a planet 45 minutes or two hours, it will be two hours, unless you have a, um, a jump drive or a pulse drive, yeah. okay? You can get several types of lasers for your ship, and uh, you can mine in space, you can blow up asteroids, it's really, really cool and very involving. There's trading in this game, there's space combat, piracy. Um, you can buy other aliens' ships off them. Sadly, you can't board other people. Say, what's, guys, I'm going never what's up, guys? KGC here again with his son Harrison. We are playing No Man's Sky. We're currently going back down to the planet we just left. Because I was going to head to a station, but my son took the controller off me and he had better ideas. So, we're nowhere near our base now. We're going to be in the middle of nowhere, marooned on a frosty world. Now, I don't know how big the planets in this game are, but I've heard stories from other people, um, read stories online, where people have walked across a planet and it's taken them literally hours. Oh! You're talking, like, half a day. So, I mean, obviously the planets in this game are respectively sized. I mean, they're not the same size as planet Earth, but um, it would take you a long while to walk from one point to, you know, to return to the other, like to walk the circumference of a planet. This is a circumference of a planet. So Harrison's walking past a poisonous plant now. We didn't get damaged. That was good. So what's that over there? Do you want to walk over to the glowing egg? What is that? Uh, that's a pancake. It's <laughs> a pancake, okay. Look. Oh, that's the terrain manipulator. So he's um, chopping bits out of the earth now, look. look. Yeah, you're digging another hole, aren't you? It's like Minecraft look, again. I'm digging another hole. He's digging another hole. I down. He's going down and down and down and down and down. How far can we go? Let's see. How far can he dig the hole in No Man's Sky? Right. So, he's going to keep going down. I haven't, a different I haven't told him the truth Same. yet. Guys doing I haven't told him the guy. truth yet that when you dig too far down, you can't get back out. Because your jetpack will run out before you get out the hole. So, anyway, I think he's hit the um, bedrock there. So he's got to try and find his way out now. Oh. Look, the hole's so deep you can't get out. Well done, mate. Can he get out? Can he get out? Can he get out? Oh, yes! Well done, Harrison. You did really well there. No, no, don't go back down the hole. Whoa. He loves being in a hole. He just dug for himself. Right, so he's mining now. He, I don't know what resources he's mining for, but he's digging himself a mine. 
you don't have to prop the shafts up with uh, lumps of wood in this game, you just keep digging. So what's guys? Oh, what's up guys? Uh, it's KGC here playing No Man's Sky with his son Harrison and well we're underground now um, if you've just joined us we've been um, digging for quite a while now and he's underground I don't know what he's looking for Why we can't go there? I don't know uh, oh. Yeah 